Welcome to Angels in the Glen. The Daniel 8 study is a pivotal chapter because it sets the stage for the remaining books of Daniel. Because the key to understanding Daniel chapter 8 is that Daniel sees two visions. All right, once you understand that Daniel sees two visions in chapter 8, you'll be able to accurately understand chapters 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then confidently move on to Revelation. Take a look at these three verses in Daniel chapter 8 to distinguish between the two visions. Now, in the Hebrew, there are two words for a vision. You see it on the screen, Mare and Hadzon. All right, they both mean the same thing. Revelation, sight, vision, appearance, sight, vision. They both mean vision, but there's two different words. When they translated it into English, though, they only used one word, and that's vision. Look at the difference on the screen. When I, Daniel, had seen the vision in red, that's cod zone. When I, Daniel, had seen the cod zone, I sought to understand it. And behold, standing before me was one who looked, that word is mare, like a man. Right there, those are the two visions. All right, look at verse 16. Gabriel is given instructions to give Daniel an understanding of the mare vision. And then in verse 17, he reassures Daniel and says, Son of man, understand that the cod zone pertains to the time of the end. So there you have it right there, the two visions. We're going to unpack all this in detail in this particular study. And we're going to show you on the screen that these two visions, the cod zone and the mare, vision one and vision two, are both related. They both have the same starting point, but they have different ending points. And this will demonstrate that we're living in the very final days of Earth's history. The other thing we're going to cover in this study is we're going to identify the Antichrist and how it subverted the ministry of Jesus Christ and took God's people captive. Because we're building off of the framework of the theme of Daniel. Remember on the screen, you see literal and spiritual application because just as King Nebuchadnezzar took God's people captive and attacks the city, the literal physical geographical city in Jerusalem, and takes God's people captive, destroys the sanctuary and the vessels are taken and taken in captivity for 70 year, literal years. There's a spiritual application. That spiritual application is this chapter in Daniel chapter eight, because there's an attack on heavenly Jerusalem. The church is taken captive. The ministry of Christ is impacted over a spiritual time period. And we're gonna unpack exactly what the ministry of Christ and how it was impacted. Now, it's important, many people interpret Daniel chapter eight literally. That's not the right way to interpret it. It must be interpreted spiritually on a larger scale. We'll walk you through all those details in this particular study. To watch it, there's three parts. Go ahead and click on the link below. That's angelsintheglen.org, angelsintheglen.org. We've got study guides, and it's not just a, a one study. It's a series of studies to prepare you for the events that must take place before Christ returns. We want you to understand the first angel's message, the second angel's message, the third angel's message, and the mark of the beast struggle, because it's about to engulf the entire world. It's not a time to fear. It's a time to be ready. God wants his people ready for Christ's return. I hope you'll join us.